him. Oh, yeah. oh I saw someone. Oh, hell no! <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys, and welcome back to another video. We post videos every day, so if you'd like to show your support, drop a like if you're a fan of Sis vs. Bro and Ronald OMG. Join the notification squad by subscribing and hitting that bell notification on, but also, don't forget to comment down below saying I subscribed to enter our monthly shoutouts, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Hope you enjoy the video. Ronald Kurzawa, aka Ronald Kaler, aka Ronald OMG is famous for being a part of a brother and sister duo from Georgetown, Ontario. While his and his older sister's channel attracted ridiculous 8.5 million subscribers over the span of only two years, each of them is a star in their own right, and just like his older sister, Ronald has an already established solo career as a YouTuber. Whether you're already a fan of his work or simply want to learn more about this young YouTuber who's already making some serious money in the first decade of his life, stay tuned as we look into 10 secrets of Ronald OMG. Ronald OMG started his YouTube career at a very young age. On 9th of February 2016, when he was only 8 years old, he joined YouTube and over the span of a couple of years managed to attract over 2 million subscribers. The first video he ever uploaded was called Minecraft Bloodiest Night, Kids Learning How to Play Survival Mode. While it's easy to see why a game like Minecraft would be the first pick of young YouTubers in the making, in the game's survival mode players must collect resources, build structures, battle mobs, manage hunger, and explore the world in an effort to survive, so the entire thing requires a bit more attention and resource management. In the video which has been viewed almost 136,000 times since it was uploaded, young Ronald is learning the ropes of the game along with his sister Karina. Obviously, the kids had to respawn in the game numerous times until they got the hang of it. Uh, this is why you get skeleton! Ah, ah, don't hurt my Stevie friend! Yeah, I killed him! All the while establishing classic brother and sister dynamic. Developed by Dynamic Pixels and published by Tiny Bill two years ago, Hello Neighbor is a stealth horror game with an interesting premise. In the game, the player sneaks into his devious neighbor's house, solving puzzles and unveiling his story bit by bit with the goal of uncovering a secret that's hidden in the basement. The developers supposedly designed that neighbor as an advanced AI who learns from the player's actions, so every time the player is caught by the neighbor, the scene resets and the neighbor gets smarter. With the game's cartoonish graphics and whimsical appearance, it's easy to see why the game appealed to younger audiences, so the fact that one of Ronald's most viewed videos, with almost 28 million views, is titled Basement Door Almost Opened. On the other hand, the popularity of Roblox has led some YouTubers to entirely focus their channel on it, and today many of them have become well-known content creators both in the Roblox community and on YouTube itself. Naturally, Ronald jumped the bandwagon that eventually brought him fame. According to some sources, Ronald's favorite YouTuber is Preston Blaine Arsmond, aka Preston Plays, who's sitting at 8.3 million subscribers. Preston started his channel some 6 years ago, with his first video being gameplay of Castle Crashers, a 2D beat-em-up video game developed by the Behemoth. Even though Preston became best known for his Minecraft content, he has also branched out to other games like Limbo, Don't Starve, Far Cry, Call of Duty, and of course Roblox and Fortnite. Since Preston is Ronald's favorite YouTuber, and probably a role model, there's no denying that the young YouTube star took inspiration from him, along with a page out of his book, as over time he started making content similar to Preston's. Reportedly, Ronald's favorite actor is one of the most popular former Disney stars, Zac Efron. Like Ashley Tisdale, he rose to fame with the high school musical movies, which led to a guest spot on The Sweet Life. During those years, he also starred in the musical film Hairspray in 2007 and the comedy film Seventeen again in 2009, before beginning his transformation with films such as The Lucky One and finally getting rid of his Disney kid pretty boy image with the adult comedies Neighbors, Dirty Grandpa, Neighbors 2, Sorority Rising, and the action comedy Baywatch. Efron's latest role was in the musical The Greatest Showman, but considering his roles and the type of work he's done before his transformation and shift to more serious roles, it's easy to see why the ex-Disney star made the top of Ronald's list. Speaking of actors, Ronald's favorite actress is yet another former Disney star, at least according to some sources. 
Miley Cyrus's role as Miley Stewart, a middle and high school girl who was secretly a pop star in Hannah Montana rocketed her to stardom, and the series resulted in a Hannah Montana movie and Miley's professional singing career as Hannah Montana. She appeared to have a life that every little girl is dreaming of, living a fairly normal life by day while secretly being an undercover superstar. Being the daughter of a country singer Billy Ray Cyrus, Miley inherited the musical talent and her Hannah Montana music was a hit. The Hannah Montana movie was the end of her Disney career though, and after that Miley continued to sing and released hits like 7 Things I Like About You and Can Be Tamed. She went through quite the wild phase a couple of years ago, appearing on stage in nude spandex and grinding on Robin Thicke, hosting SNL wearing a dress of dreadlocks, or simply sticking her tongue out farther than humanly possible at any given opportunity, which resulted in Miley ridding herself of the Disney good girl image once and for all. Now, even though Miley used to be a teen idol of young girls, it doesn't mean that boys couldn't have a sweet spot for her, including Ronald. When looking at YouTubers who create video game content, some people would have thought that they rarely leave the house and spend their time playing video games from dusk till dawn and sleep throughout the day. Still, assuming that would be wrong in most cases, and as it turns out, Ronald enjoys outdoor activities as much as the next kid and even has a scar to prove it. One time, as he was riding his bike down the hill, he lost control of his bike and hit his chin on a bench so bad that he was rushed to the hospital, where he earned 7 stitches and a scar to remember the incident by. When it comes to children that somehow became stars on YouTube with multiple channels and millions and millions of subscribers, it's easy to forget that at the end of the day, they are still just kids, doing what kids do and loving and hating whatever kids usually do. Just like most of us who had troubles eating certain things when we were little, Ronald is a picky eater as well, as he claimed in one of his videos. Apparently, while he likes mac and cheese, he hates eggs, pepper, carrots, broccoli, cabbage, lettuce and beans. While there's a whole science behind the reason why kids don't like vegetables in general, saying that children's taste buds are more sensitive to bitterness than the ones of adults and that the sensitivity goes away as they get older, Ronald's preferences when it comes to food just go to show that he's no different than any other kid out there. When Epic Games was starting out and Fortnite Battle Royale launched, probably nobody expected that the game is going to have over 80 million players logging in on a monthly basis. The game took the world by storm and claimed the throne of Battle Royale genre, with people of all ages playing it. When Fortnite became a thing, Ronald was one among many to completely focus on the game and totally neglect the things that made him famous in the first place. Some people out there took this shift in focus as a sign that Ronald is doing it all for the money, following the trends to earn more from views, and not because he actually likes it and finds it entertaining. Some people have also criticized Ronald for not paying much attention to his channel in terms of thumbnails and editing. Ever since he started out, his thumbnails have remained the same and consisted of his photo, a simple background, or a screenshot of the game from the video, and a very plain font. Moreover, people have also called out the length of his videos as they range from 20 to 40 minutes long, saying that the video can't really be that interesting to make someone watch 40 minutes of it. In addition to that, there is hardly any editing in his videos they said, as Ronald's videos usually feature some irrelevant content, like waiting in the lobby of a game just so they would be longer. While this obviously doesn't and shouldn't bother his fanbase, the lack of a proper intro and outro is something that some people also had a problem with. Considering that Ronald's family mostly consists of YouTubers, with his older sister Karina being the first one in the family as she posted her first video when she was only 7 years old, and his dad who also has his channel called Freddy Goes Boom, where he uploads Fortnite and Roblox videos, many people have been wondering what's up with Ronald's and Karina's mother, as she wasn't mentioned anywhere while the rest of the family took the spotlight. Now this eventually led to some theories that the woman is dead or out of the picture in some other way, but the kids decided to put these rumors to rest in one of their sis vs bro videos, where they reveal that their mother is very much alive. Not only that, but their mother is usually the one behind the camera, as she is quite camera shy and doesn't like to expose herself. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.